Democrat Michael John Gray and Republican Bill Vickery here with us this morning. Guys, good morning to you. Let's start with this special session. What do these tax cuts mean just for the average Arkansan? Well, I'll, I'll hop in first. Thank you, Michael John. Um, I think you have to look over the entire span of, of Governor Hutchinson's tenure in office so that you look at lower income Arkansans receive tax breaks right off the bat, middle income Arkansans now finally get a tax break. Folks on the higher end have gotten a tax break. Uh, businesses have gotten a tax break. He has layered in something for everyone over his entire tenure in office. I think that has to be looked at. You gotta look that in total. The second thing is, finally Arkansas can be competitive with states surrounding it, like Tennessee and Texas, who have zero state income tax, who lure business in. That's why you see Nashville and Austin exploding. Um, that's a big tool from an economic development standpoint that's so desperately needed. Michael John, you're shaking your head. So here's what it means to Arkansans. A teacher in Bauxite is now paying the same tax rate as a banker in Bentonville. That's what it means. So on, the well, on the wealthiest end of this thing, we've lowered the tax rate. What attracts economic development and jobs and companies into the state are thriving communities and investments in communities, investments in infrastructure and hospitals and public schools. And this money, now, hey, look, arguing against the tax cut is never good politically. But there's a lot of money that could have been spent on developmentally disabled people that are still on the waiting list, um, low-income earners that are feeling it at the gas pumps. Instead, the governor got a good legislative victory by cutting taxes for the wealthiest Arkansas. Yeah, Bill, is this skewed more towards the state's highest earners here? Yeah, well, I mean, let's be clear here. We're talking about an income tax rate, especially compared to other states, that's not as significant to begin with. What, what really is the impact here, to Michael John's point, I agree. In thriving communities, you know what they're based around? They're based around low income taxes, low taxes on business. That's what attracts. We can build all the bike trails in the world that we want to, but until we have fundamentally sound tax policy in place and better schools in place, then we're not going to be able to attract the type of businesses that we're talking about. Go compete with Tennessee and Texas who are trying to lure those businesses when we have a much higher tax rate. Dropping it below 5% finally makes us competitive to go after those businesses. They never talk about that. Our property tax rates are significantly lower than Texas and Tennessee, and our income tax rate doesn't near balance what they're charged for property taxes. You want better schools, you want better roads, you want to invest in our communities, you can't continue to give money away to the wealthiest market. And Michael John, you kind of brought this up earlier, but you mentioned that this could strain possible resources in the state and this money would better be allocated towards funding other programs. No, I think you've got to take a, a hard look at how responsibly that money's being spent. But we know that in 60 of our 75 counties, we're seeing no, no growth and population decline. And we've got to find a way to invest in pre-K education. There are hundreds and thousands of Arkansans who are on wait lists for uh, developmental disability assistance. For unemployment assistance, we see roads and bridges crumbling across the state, yet now a teacher is paying the same tax rate as a banker. That makes no sense. It, it makes completely span. But, but, so let me just take that very argument right there. That's the whole idea behind it. With some of these guys, uh, you, we, 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 we tax people less, we tax corporations less, and we lure them into the state. They come in, they pay more in taxes because they're paying nothing right now because they're not here. That's the whole idea. That's what this is designed to do. It works. It's worked in Texas. It, it's worked in Tennessee. It's worked in Florida. You've seen businesses flee to those states from higher taxes states like, like California, Illinois, New York. They've become a hub for business activity in this country. That's what the governor is trying to do. It, listen, not, I'm not saying I have a lot of respect for Michael John. I'm not saying he's saying this, but there are those on the left. You could never spend enough money. So if we want to continue to tax a, a shrinking population in certain areas, then, then so be it. But I, I applaud the governor for what he did. It's going to help. It's going to work in the long run. Right. I'd rather see the money used to let teachers buy, have money to buy school supplies so they're not having to work second jobs and do it out of their own pocket. That's where I think the majority of Arkansans like. I'm, I'm going to have to cut you there. We are out, of, are out of time. There are two very good points there. We will check back in with you guys on this issue coming up next Monday.